So for today's video, I will talk about the properties of limit. Limit f of x as x approaches to c is equal to capital L and limit g of x as x approaches to c is equal to capital M. One of the rule of properties of limit is some rule. So, so this is exactly the same as limit f of x as x approaches to c plus g of x limit g of x as x approaches to c add 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 times 2 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 3 times 2 equals 12 so 4 plus 12 equals is difference rule. This is exactly the same as limit f of x minus g of x as minus limit g of x as x approaches to c is equal to l and this is equal to m. So this will be going to L minus M. The next rule is limit f of x times limit g of x this is this will be this is equal to L and this is equal to M so L times M Here is, is an example of the product rule. So, 3 times 3 4 times 3 3 times 3 equals 9 times 4 times 3 equals 12 9 times 12 equals 108 Next rule is the constant multiple rule. This is exactly the same as k limit f of x as x approaches to c. So this is will be going to the L. So k times L. Here is an example of the constant rule. So, 2 limit, this is exactly the same as 2 limit x squared plus 1 as x approaches to 4. So, we will distribute this 2 times 4 squared plus 1. 4 squared plus 1. And 4 squared equals 16 plus 1. 16 plus 1 equals 17. So 2 times 17. 2 times 17 equals 34. So the limit is 34. Next is the quotient rule. This is exactly the same as limit f of x as x approaches to c over limit g of x as x approaches to c. So this will be going to L over M. The exponent rule. Limit f of x raised to the r over s power as x approaches to c. So this will be going to this will this is equal to l. 
So L raised to the R over S bar. So now we will evaluate the limit of function. So first expression is limit x minus 4 over x squared minus 7x plus 2 as x approaches the 4. So first thing, we will substitute the denominator. So the numerator will be n and we will substitute this x. This x will be 4 squared minus 7 times 4 plus 2. So the answer here is n over 0. If the denominator is equal to 0, we will proceed to the algebraic technique. Or if not, we will we can substitute directly. So we will use algebraic technique. So x minus 4. As we can see, this is a polynomial. So the factor of this is x minus 4 times x minus 3. As we can see, this is identical, so we need to cancel this. And the remaining is x minus 3. So, we will sub substitute the x to 4. 4 minus 3. So, the limit is 1. So, next expression is limit of function square root of x minus 6 minus 1 over 7 minus 6 as x approaches the 7. First, we will substitute the denominator. So, n, 7, and x will be going to be the 7. So, answer is 0. We will proceed to the next technique. So, as you can see, this is radical sign and or square root. So we need to rationalize by multiplying the conjugate where the, the radical or square root is present. So here the, the radical is in the numerator so we need to multiply it by the numerator. So square root of x minus 6 square root of x minus 6 minus 1 over 7 minus x multiplied by x minus 6 plus 1 square of x minus 6 plus 1 so square root of x minus 6 times square root of x minus 6 is x minus 6 because according to the principal rule Square root of x times square root of x is equal to square root of x squared. Then cancel this. So the answer is x. So negative 1 times 1 equals negative 1. Then multiply the denominator. 7 minus x times square root of x minus 6 plus 1. So according to the associative property, this will be going to x minus 7. I 7 times I negative 7 minus x times square root of x minus 6 plus 1. So as you can see, we cannot cancel this, so we need to modify modify the numerator by taking out the negative outside the parenthesis so negative negative x plus 7 over 7 minus x 
square root of x minus 6 plus 1. So now we can able to cancel this. It is equal to negative 1 over square root of x minus 6 plus 1. So negative 1 square root of 7 minus 6 plus 1. Negative 1, 7 minus 6 is equal to 1 plus 1. Negative 1, 2. The third expression is limit 1 over 4 plus 1 over x overall 4 plus x as x approaches to negative 4. We will do the substitution. So n over 4 negative 4 is equal to n plus 0. Simplify the complex fraction. So, in simplifying complex fraction, there is a rule where a over b plus c over d is equal to a times b plus c times b over b times b. So, 1 times x plus 1 times 4 over 4 times x. Overall, 4 plus x. 1 times x equals x plus 1 times 4 equals 4 over 4 times x equals 4x over 4 plus x. The x plus 4 over 4x times 1 over 4 plus x. As you can see, this is identical so we need to cancel this. 1 over 4x then so 4 times negative 4 is equal to 16 so this is an example of limit of quotient limit of function 4x minus 15 over 2x minus 3 as x approaches to 3 so this is exactly the same as limit 4x minus 15 as x approaches to 3 over limit 2x minus 3 as x approaches to 3. We will distribute the x. So, 4 times 3 so the x is 3, so 4 times 3 minus 15 over 2 times 3 minus 3. So 4 times 3 equals 12 minus 15. 2 times 3 equals 6 minus 3. So 12 minus 15 equals 3, negative 3. 6 minus 3 equals 3. So, negative 3 divided by 3 is equal to negative 1.